Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great. And you, Angel? Fine, thank you. I'm so happy because I can uh, do, bueno, advance uh, a little on... In the platform. In the platform. Yay, excellent, Angel. That's very good to hear, actually. Just in my name. <laughs> very good. Let's check. How about you, Alba? How are you? Oh, five. <laughs> Excellent. Very good to hear you. All right, everybody. We have quite a lot of people by now. Let me check. How are you? Because we're still missing. And um, let me check. Mm, hello, Douglas. I saw your hello over there. <laughs> okay, so hello. Let me go with Eva. Hello, Eva. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. Excellent. And you? I'm great. I'm excellent. Thank you, Eva, for asking. Let's go with Ceci Hernandez. Hello, Ceci. How are you? Let me see. We have Ceci. What about Carlos Antonio? Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm great. Can you? I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Very good to hear you. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you guys. I see that you are just in time. And that's great. That's exciting, all right? So today we're going to be working on section five still, right? I can't ice skate very well, right? We are in class 14. You guys, you are just about two classes to finish your level. Dos clases más y finalizan su nivel. Aren't you happy? No están contentos. I mean, dos meses and you got two levels. That's great. You should be happy. All right, everybody, let's get started. Let's see. As a matter of wrapping up, no, warming up, como calentamiento, all right? As a matter of warming up, we are going to check these questions. Simple present WH questions, right? So let me go with Kenya Ayala. Hello, Kenya. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you so fine. much for asking. All right, okay. Kenya. Usted pregunta, you ask. Escoja quien le quiere preguntar, Kenya, please. Eh, Eva Argueta. Excellent. Action, girls. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play by San Pierre from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Eva. Eva, repeat after me. Once or twice? Hello? What? Once or twice? Estas palabras. Once um, or twice? One or Espérame, es que no sé cuál me. ¿Cuál es? Yo creo que ya puse el puntero. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Once. Once. Or, or twice. twice. Or twice. Una o dos. One or twice. Uh -huh. Exactly. Once or twice. Very good. One or twice. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Um, let me check. Thank you, Eva. Thank you, Kenya. Let's go with Angel. Angel, you ask, escoja su pareja, Angel, please. Um, vamos a ver. William Liborio. Okay, excellent. Angel, you ask, usted pregunta, William, you answer. Usted contesta, William. Action. Uh, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Okay, 
What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I, I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. Uh, what time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Very good, you guys. Good turn. Excellent. No mistakes. I don't have anything to correct. Very Thank good. You. I can notice that you've been practicing, all right? That's excellent. Puedo notar que han estado practicando o prestaron mucha atención ayer a la pronunciación, pero lo hicieron super good. Now, let me go with another pair. Let's check. Mm. Daisy, hello Daisy, good evening. Hello, winner. All right, Daisy, choose your pair. Escoja su pareja, Daisy. Solo no puede ser Eva, ni Kenny Ayala, ni William Liborio, ni Ángel, porque ellos ya pasaron. Escoja a alguien más. Your microphone, Daisy. Su micrófono. Eh, a Nancy. Nancy. All right, excellent. Eh, Daisy, usted pregunta. Nancy Gutierrez, you answer. Action. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Who do you play basketball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice arms twice a week. When did you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Very good, girls. Thank you. Let's check, Nancy. Repeat after me. Once or One. twice. One, once or twice. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Nancy, that's correct. Once or twice. Una o dos veces. Once, or, se... twice. Mm -hmm. once okay. or twice. Very good, very good. Y me gusta que lo volví a repetir, excellent. De hecho, yo, everybody, yo tengo un mecanismo que a todos mis alumnos utilizo, pero bien extraño que ustedes no lo utilicen, right? Que los hago repetir tres veces la misma palabra, all right? Pero creo que a ustedes nunca se los dije desde el principio, so nunca lo utilicé con ustedes, all right? Pero sí, es necesario que siempre que ustedes sientan que una palabra no la pronuncian bien y escuchan la correction, ustedes la repitan three or four times, all right? Porque eso hace que se quede un poco mejor archivada en el brain, en el cerebro. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, let me go with... Daisy, repeat after me, Daisy. Este es un deporte y se dice baseball. Baseball. Mm -hmm. Baseball, very baseball. good. Right. Sí, no le voy a pasar las mías, Daisy, que a veces digo basketball y basketball es otro, right? Sí, <laughs> ya, ya iba a decir basketball. Ah, I know, right? Es que como las dos están con B, a veces pasa, Daisy. So I got you, girl. Yo la comprendo. <laughs> All right, let's go with another pair. Let me go with Arnoldo. Hello, Arnoldo. Hello, teacher. How are you, sir? Um, good, tired? <laughs> good, good, good. good. All right, excellent. Arnoldo, you ask, usted va a preguntar y tenemos una volunteer, Ceci Hernández. Ella va a contestar, okay, Arnoldo? Okay. Thank you. Action, Ceci. Okay. okay. Uh, what? what sports do you play? <laughs> okay. Ah, yo iba a preguntar, dije no. Ah, usted pero, iba a preguntar. No, yo, yo contesto, está bien, no hay problema. <risa> pero no. No, no se preocupe. I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. 
we have a team. Where do you play? We play at the Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We, pra we practice once, como dijo que se pronunciaba? Or twice. ¿Cómo? Once or no. twice. Ah, ah, once or twice a, a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent, very good. Ya ver, no, no tan preocupado porque se iba a contestar and you did great. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, Arnoldo. No, cual no, sorry. Después me lo repito. <laughs> no, 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 no problem, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your participation, guys. Um, I have to say, it's fair to say, es justo que les diga, right? You're doing great. Lo están haciendo muy bien, excelente. You guys, I'm impressed. He ido viendo cómo han progresado muchísimo en su pronunciation, and I'm glad. Me siento muy feliz. All right. Muy feliz y sin sonreír. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let me go with Carla Alemán. Por ahí, Carlita, vi que levantó la mano. Choose your pair. Escoja su pareja, Carla, please. Let me check. A ver. Mm. Cualquiera. Cualquiera. Solo, si quiere, le digo quiénes ya pasaron, all right? Kelly Ayala, ya pasó, Eva Argueta, ya pasó, Angel y William, ya pasaron, Daisy, Nancy, Arnoldo y Ceci Hernández, ya pasaron. Pero yo le puedo ayudar, teacher, no hay problema. All right, and by any chance, you want, you want them? Eh, Marixa. All right, Marixa, excellent. Marixa, we check. Ok, excellent. Ana, Marixa, excellent. Thank you. Eh, Carla, you ask? Maritza, you answer. Action. Okay. What sport do you play? Teacher, solamente que dijo Carla. Yes, Carla Alemán. Uh -huh. Y estaba sí. con Maritza y yo me ofrecí, pero te dijo Carla y Maritza. Ah, yes, es que Carlita, yo le dije a ella que si quería que usted pasara, pero ella escogió a Anita, all right? Don't worry. Ah, no escucho. Tenemos a Carlos, usted va a pasar con Carlos, William, all right? Don't entonces, eh, yo pregunto y William sí. responde entonces. Sí, porque ah, okay. de alguna manera creo que a Anita no le funciona el audio porque no la escucho. All right? Ah, ok. okay. So entonces, eh, iniciamos. Uh, permítame, anteriormente William usted respondió, ¿verdad? yo respondí entonces ah, ahora usted pregunta ok Action. thank you Carla okay. what sport do you play? I play hockey and um, baseball who do you play baseball with? I play with uh, some friends fr from work we have a team Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice home. Once? Uh, we practice. Uh -huh. We practice, practice once. Or uh, we practice one or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yay, excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. Nailed it. Let's go with the last pair. Vamos con la última pareja ya. Carlos Antonio. Let's check, Carlos. Usted va con Yami Rajo. All right, Carlos, usted pregunta. Yami, you answer. Hello, Yami. Okay. <laughs> What sport do you play? I play hockey, baseball. What do you play 
baseball with. I play with some friends from work. We say them a team. We have Where? a team. Houston. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you do a start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, excellent. Okay. Thank you, guys. No mistakes. You're doing good with the pronunciation. Now, everybody, let's check this up. This is the structure that we saw yesterday, right? Um, let me hear you, Martita. Tell me the structure. Dígame la estructura. W H. Uh, work work plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus a uh, question mark excellent yes. very good job <laughs> yes excellent okay. esa es la estructura que vimos ayer everybody right es, voy a irme un poquito rapidito en esta parte porque tiene, necesito que hagan una practice so we got the guiding examples. Tenemos los ejemplos. Normita, example one and two, please. What sport does Eunice play? Who, who do you play tennis with? Mm, that's correct. Excellent. Very good pronunciation, Normita. Let's go with Cecilia Rivas. Example three and four, please. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Where does, where does he play? How often do they practice? Excellent. Thank you. And then we have the other guidance structure, which it was the one that I was explaining to you yesterday. Esta era la que les explicaba. Es con la única WH que se saca esta, esta otra estructura, por así decirlo, right? Who plus do or does, plus subject, plus verb, and noun, plus with. All right? Lo que quiere decir que vamos a terminar nuestra, um, nuestra question, nuestra pregunta. Vamos a iniciar con el who y vamos a terminar con el with. Caso contrario, que nosotros quisiésemos hacer uso del, de el with adelante en la pregunta, vamos a utilizar el with plus WH work, que en este caso sería whom, with whom, y luego el complement, right? No el complement, sino que el do, subject, verb, noun, and those things, right? Ya lo van a ver con el ejemplo, voy a explicar. Vamos a ver. Um, Ceci, please, sentence number, no, question number one, please. Who does Martin play basketball with? Excellent. Douglas Alvarez, example two and three. Please. Hello, Douglas. Maybe you are, I, I think you're busy. Let's go with Kenny Ayala, example two and three, please. Who do you practice with? With whom does play? Exactly, very good. Noten ustedes la estructura me decía que vamos a, vamos a iniciar con el who y vamos a terminar con el with. Claro está, las dos oraciones, las dos preguntas, las primeras dos preguntas lo hacen de esa manera. Pero tenemos una exception. Si yo quiero utilizar el with al principio, lo utilizo con whom y sigo lo demás de la estructura, que sería el do o el does, plus el subject, que en este caso sería Juan, Plus the verb, que sería play. All right? Para eso no hay estructura, no se las ponen a ustedes en el video, solo es de conocer a dónde cambiaría. Yami, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, what's the meaning of whom? Whom? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Whom, yes. right? Sí, whom es lo mismo que who, all right? 
¿Con quién? La diferencia es que para iniciar con el with, utilizamos whom, pero significa lo mismo, right? Son lo mismo. Y es la Entonces, única excepción, teacher. Uh -huh. Exacto, ah, eso es lo bueno. Es la única. Te pregunto porque hablando de la WH question, eh, está el what for también. Eh, y supongo que con eso no se puede hacer. Mm, what for? Sí. No, porque no estaría siguiendo la regla gramatical con los auxiliares. Ok. Uh -huh. All right. All right, guys. Eh, como les menciono, aquí para conocer esta, solamente recuerden que ya no iniciarían con el who, sino que iniciarían con el with. Y luego el who, ¿verdad? Y de ahí seguían siempre por medio de la estructura. You got no problems with it. Now, based on this, you are going to work this. All right. This, basically. <laughs> All right, it says, como dice William, tell me the. <laughs> Puro Lisuito Miguel le dice, right? Como dice. <laughs> okay, William, tell me the instructions, please. Okay. Practice time works as whole class. Como se pronuncia esa? Create, create. Create. Create, create at least for question using WH words. Share your question with the class. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. All right, you guys. Ahora sí. Vamos a trabajar como ayer hicieron una y algunos me la dijeron. Ahora hagan tres. All right, three. At least three. Y recuerden, pueden utilizar ya sea la primera structure, que es la normal que conocemos, all right? O la segunda structure también, la del who. Either or, cualquiera de las dos.
All right. Do I have any volunteer or somebody who has Spanish? I have one question, teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me, Yami. ¿Cómo se traduce la número dos? Esta palabrita. Ajá, lo que pasa es que con... dice, ¿quién juega tenis? ¿Quién juega tenis, verdad? No, ¿con Pero... quién juegas tenis? Ah, vitas con. Ajá. O sea que el WIT siempre va a ir al final. Sí, cuando usted utiliza el WIT al principio, el WIT va a ir al final. Esa era mi duda. Gracias. Excelente, muy bien. Sí. Así como nos muestra aquí la structure, Yami, right? dice que iniciamos con who y terminamos con with. La única excepción era si usted deseara comenzar con el with, ¿verdad? Ahí en ese caso ya no utiliza el who, sino que utiliza el whom. With whom, right? Es lo que menciona el video, que no es muy común esta forma, pero se utiliza y no hay nada en erróneo en hacerlo, right? Now, let's go with Angel. Ajá, Angel. Tell me your sentences. Okay, let's see. Um, with whom do you play chess? Where do you practice mountaining? When does Miss Arevalo play tennis? Very good, very wise. <laughs> no. Uh, repeat number one again, Angel, please. Okay. With whom do you play chess? Chess. Okay. Thank you. Very good. They told us Angel. Very good. Thank you. Very, very good. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Normita. After Normita, Carlos. Okay, teacher. How do you play soccer with? What sport do you play? Where does Emily play? Very good, excellent. I'm excited. You did it. You did a great job. Let's go with Carlos. After Carlos, jam. Okay. With does Mary play volleyball with? Who do you who do you practice with? With whom does Susan play? Does Susan play? Sí, esa está correcta. Excellent. Very good use of whom. Muy, utilizo muy bien el whom. Solo la primera. Los, Repítala porque no sé si es que yo no escuché el subject o no tiene el subject. Would does Mary play volleyball with? Ah, who does Mary? Who does Mary play volleyball with? Ajá, very good, excellent. Pues sí, es que no lo había escuchado el Mary. Ah, bueno. Very Gracias. good, Carlos. Excellent. Thanks. Very good. Let's go with Jamie. Uh, what subject does she study? Mm -hmm. uh, where does he work? Mm -hmm. Who do you dance with? Very good, excellent, Jamie. Now you see, the perfect. Now, do I have another volunteer? Tengo otra voluntaria. Recuerden que ahorita están conociendo otra faceta de las WH words, right? Ya vieron otra excepción que quizás antes no conocíamos, la del boom. Ajá, let's go with Ceci Hernández after Ceci Arnold. One, who do you watch movies with? Two, where does Mario play tennis? Three, With whom does Carla play volleyball? Four. How often does your mother a cake? Bake a cake. Ah, okay. 
Very good. Excellent, Ceci. Very good questions. Thank you. It sounds great. Let's go with Arnolo. Okay. <clears throat> Number one. Who does she swim in the pool? Number Wait. two. Me, me, me corrige si me equivoco. Ok, en esa primera está bien. Vamos bien, solo le hace falta el with al final. Ah, oh, ok. Porque utilizó who. Mm, sí, 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 es verdad. Sí, tiene toda la razón. Sí. Ok. Entonces, number one. Who does she swing in the pool with? ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm, very number good. two. Who... Who do you practice basketball with? Number three. Uh, with whom does Arnold walk? Walks. Very good. Excellent, Arnoldo. Está bien. Okay. Yes, no mistakes. Están correctas. Y sabe que inclusive okay. la primera, si usted deseara hacerla, with whom does she swim? In the pool, puede uh -huh. hacerla también. Tiene las dos maneras para hacerla esa. O sea, el mismo contexto, la misma información, puede hacerla de las dos maneras. Ok, pero sí. siempre hay que agregarle, lo, lo, lo ideal es agregarle el quiz, ¿verdad? Sí, va a utilizar sí, el al principio. Sí, sí, lo que pasa es que, ajá, es que lo que pasa es que me había olvidado. No, sí. y está correcta. De hecho, esta está larga y a veces cuesta formar eh, questions largas, right? Pero usted lo hizo excelente. Thank you. Okay, no, gracias a usted. Thanks. You're welcome, sir. Let's go with Eva. Number one, what sport do you like most? Number two, what do you play ball, ball with? Number three, where does she play tennis? Or that she four. Oh, oh. oh, 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 Exactly. Mire, Evita, yo le voy a ser bien honest. Le voy a ser bien honesta. Para pronunciar el how, tenemos que abrir la boca, right? How. 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 Exactly. How. Very how good. Do they... Very good. Excellent. Ya beba. Excellent. Usted siempre me da questions. Excelente. Very good. Now, let's check this one, everybody. Let me see. I'm missing a couple of people. Me hacen falta algunos, right? Solo tengo la... Ajá. Ajá, Jacqueline. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jacqueline. Entré, entré un poco tarde a la clase y eh, hice, no las hice con los deportes, no, no la escuché, no presté atención quizá. Right. Pero las hizo con algo más, Jacqueline. Sí, este, pero no sé si están bien, ¿verdad? Dígame, yo le Dice, what? What do you live? Who are you living with? Where do you live? Ya no seguí haciendo porque no sé si están no, pero están correctas. Solo la número uno me puso what do you live? Sí, what do you live? Pero ahí es como si me quisiera decir que vives. ¿Dónde vives? Ah, Ajá, no ¿dónde sé. vives? Where? No, where. Quédate ahí, no te muevas. Le escucho cortado, no sé si a mí me está fallando. Uh, yo la escucho bien. Yo la escucho bien. ¿Ah? El repeat es where. Where, exactly. Where significa. Where, to... where do you live? Exactly, Jacqueline, that's correct. Thank very you. Good. Thank you, Jacqueline. Excellent, very good, guys. Um, let me check. I'm still missing Cecilia Rivas. Tell me your sentence, Cecilia, please. Your questions. Solo tengo tres. 
Yes, sí, es, y aún así antes, dudo. Ah, ah, bueno. <ríe> bueno, no sé, vamos a ver. Eh, where does he play tennis? Uh -huh. What sport do you play? Eh, how does she play basketball with? Who so does let's... she play? Who does she play basketball with? With? Excellent. Very good, Cecilia. Excellent. Ya ve, no me la iba a decir. <laughs> Thank Excellent, you. Excellent, Cecilia. Let's go with Livorio, Mr. Livorio. Let's check. No. The teacher. Who does teacher Fever play basketball with? Who does she practice with? Uh, with whom does teacher Fever play? Uh -huh. Exactly, very good. Ya ves, iba a quedar sin decímelas. They are great. Ah, para que participen los compañeros. Uh -huh. Everybody has to participate, you guys. Mire, después, uh, when you get in another course, cuando sea en otro curso, me va a escribir, me va a decir, Miss, we miss you, la extrañamos, así que aprovechen ahorita, right? I know what I'm telling you, ya pasé por esto, por eso les estoy diciendo. Let's go with Carla Alemán. Igual, tengo duda, pero las voy a, um, a decir, teacher. Wow, does Lilian play tennis with... Who? Right. La dijo who? bien, está, está estructurada, está estructurada como debe de ser, pero la pronunciación de esto es who. Who does Lillian play wish? Así? Mm -hmm. With. With. Okay. Who, eh, siempre se me, eh, me cuesta pronunciarlo. Who, ¿verdad? Who yeah. do you play? play Do you play and do you practice Jose Wish? Mm -hmm. With. What sport uh, does Matias play? Mm -hmm. What sports does Matias play? Very good, Carlita. Ya ves, están correctas. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, honey. All right. Me encanta, everybody. Yo sé que quizás eh, todavía podemos considerar, no, o me cuesta y, y me da pena decirles, right? No tengan pena, everybody. El propósito de esta práctica es que yo les pueda ayudar en lo que ustedes necesiten, all right? So, let's check the pronunciation de esta palabra, everybody. Creo que ninguno, no puedo encontrar que alguien tuviera un error en la estructura, pero sí noté que nos costó esto, el who, all right? Entonces les puse equals who. <risas> Literalmente, así lo pueden pronunciar, all right? Para que no se les olvide, puede ponerlo a la, pueden ponerlo a la par de la palabra who. Y también esta, how. All right, how. No podemos decir hope porque no nos van a entender. Entonces tenemos que decir how. How often do they practice? All right. And there you have it. That's it. I want to see everybody. Pronunciation can and can't. All right. Si ya vieron el video, se darán cuenta de que la pronunciación de este puede sonar como si tuviéramos E. La E como la conocemos en español, right? Like can or can't. So, let's check the conversation. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Brave, que valientes, <laughs> right? Brave. Now, let me go with the first pair. Let's have Arnoldo, you are Philip. Usted va a ser Philip. Okay. Alba, Alba Duarte, you are Kayla. Action. Okay. Uh, oh, look, there's a. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia talent? Ta talent? Talent. A talent contest. Talent contest on 
Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Will, will you can too? Oh no, I can sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good, excellent. There you have it, all right? Easy peasy, esta conversation, um, quizás la única palabra que podría costarnos sería talent o contest, all right? Que yo no sé si les pasará como a mí, que por algún extraño motivo yo creo que contest tiene X, y digo contest, all right? Y no, es contest. Right, contest. De ahí todo está perfecto. All right. No encuentro ninguna palabra que les pueda molestar la pronunciation. Thank you, Arnoldo and Albita. Let's go with Yami Rajo. You are Kayla and Angel Cano. You are Philly. Action. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter. A, <clears throat> sorry. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can. You, oh, oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can see around. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. Very good. Now, let's check another pair. Is this practice for you guys? Esta es practica para ustedes. Let's go with Normita. Normita, you are Kayla. And... Ya le busco un Philip. Ah, William, help me, please. You are Philip. Actually. Oh, look. There is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What, I, what can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, I can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I, I can play the piano. Oh, maybe we can enter the, con the contest. Sure, sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good team. Thank you, guys. Let me go with Carlos Antonio. You are Philip. And Ceci Hernandez, you are Kayla, actually. Oh, look, there's talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter. Talent contest. What do you what I do? What can, can I do? You can sing really well. Oh thanks. Well you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, that's correct. Thank you, guys. You made it, no problems. Thank now, you. let's go, you're welcome, honey. Let's go to this part, can for ability. Meaning, utilizamos el can para decir que podemos hacer algo, right? Que somos capaces de hacer algo. For example, I can sing very well. 
You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Yo les recomiendo que no hagan una pausa después del sing at all. Porque si lo dicen así, les va a costar, right? Digan, they can't sing at all. At all. Únanlas. El at all, únanlas. At all, right? Para que no se les escuche tan eh, como, como si nos costara, all right? Sino que they can't sing at all. Tan salvadoreños. <laughs> pasa, my friend, pasa. Don't worry. Se nos sale los salvadoreños, everybody. Let's check. Miren, yo pues diciéndoles context y era context. All right. Y si no te caí en esa palabra, nadie tuvo ningún mistake. All right. So it happens. Let's go with the, the next one. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? Can she sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, he can. No, she can't. No, we can't. No, they can't. All right? Let's practice with that. ¿Qué sucede aquí? El can he sing, all right? Esa pregunta es contestada con un yes or no. Entonces, ¿qué tipo de pregunta creen ustedes que serían esa? Yes or no questions or WH questions? Yes or no. Yes or no question. Exactly. Very good. Very good. I like it. And then we got the WH. What can I do? You can sing. One who can sing? Philip can. Do you have a question, Angel? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, um, bueno, la pregunta, can he, can he sing? Why? Uh, Sing is normal. No put s sings. Mm, ya tiene el auxiliary. El can actúa como nuestro auxiliary. Aún en tercera, aún en, en tercera persona. O sea, puede ser es el, el único verbo que se no tiene que cambiárselo. Exacto. No con todos. Can he sing? Can he dance? Can he walk? Can he talk? Ya no le va a cambiar usted nada. Ah, ok. Thank It's you. easier. Es más fácil, right? Se dan cuenta ¿Sí? que con los auxiliares es más fácil porque ay, no tienen que estarse quebrando la cabeza de que le voy a cambiar la Y por el IS. Right? Sino que ya el auxiliar hace su deber. <ríe> ok, bueno, let's pero practice. Pero no, es una, no es un auxiliar, sino que es un verbo. ¿El quién? Sí. Sí, pero actúa como el auxiliar. Y por ejemplo, el do. El do es ah, un verb, no, pero la actúa no, como un auxiliar. Do and does. Exactly. Okay. Let me check. Very good. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Now, everybody, let me go with los que no me han practicado mucho. Let's go with Damaris Vega. Damaris, tell me all of this sentence. Me va a regalar todos estos subjects con estas mismas oraciones, please. Okay, good evening. Good evening. I, I can sing very well. You can sing at all. He can sing very well. She can sing at all. We can sing very well. They can sing at all. Very good, excellent. Let's go with Maritza, Ana Maritza. Usted pregunta, Anita, can you sing? Usted va a hacer las preguntas en Cecilia Rivas. Usted va a contestar. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Y así, ¿ok? Ok. Let's start with Anita. Hello, Ana, your microphone. Se le apagó el micrófono, Ana. Yo pregunto. Yes. Creo que tiene problemas con el internet, Anita. Problemas con el internet, Anita. Ay, escucho yo lo 
<laughs> All right. Thank you, Anita. Let me check somebody else. Um, Carla, please. Okay, Carla, you ask. Usted pregunta, Carla, y siempre continuamos con okay. Cecilia Rivas. Usted contesta. Usted contesta. Eh, entiendo que es eh, you es you can you okay. see Ajá. can you see eh, can I sing y así sí sí solo va a ir esperando a que Cecilia le vaya contestando ok ok Bye. can you sing yes I can can I sing yes you can can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good. Now, let's move on, everybody. Guiding the structure with can or can't. Esta es la estructura clave aquí. All right? We got the subject plus verb. No, we got the subject plus can or can plus verb plus complement. Así de sencillo, right? No le vamos a hacer modificaciones al verb que le sigue el can, porque aunque el can es para posibilidad, o sea, para los que ustedes pueden hacer, actúa como un auxiliary, all right? Dentro del simple present. Entonces, nuestro verb siempre va a quedar en simple present. No le vamos a hacer modifications. All right. After you finish copying, the structure, les voy a mostrar unos guiding examples. All right, let's move on. Guiding examples, number one and two, Norma, please. My father can sing, my father can sing very well. They can't dance. Very good, Norma, excellent. Casi decía que mi papá no podía cantar, right? <laughs> All right, don't worry, Normita. Let's go with Jami, number three and four. I can swing and dance, but I can sing. Patty can speak English but she can't speak French. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, Yami. These are extra examples, you guys, for you to know. Estos son ejemplos extra que yo les pongo para que ustedes eh, los tomen en cuenta y vean algo más aparte de lo de la platform, right? Ya hay examples vivos y reales que ustedes tienen aquí, right? Cosas bien comunes. Hacemos uso del can. Dentro del, tanto puedo decir como puedo hacer algo, Y también explicar que no puedo hacer algo. For example, number three, all right? Si estamos hablando de abilities, yo solo tengo two abilities, puedo decir, I can swim and dance, but I can't sing, pero no puedo cantar, right? Es decir, esa persona puede participar en un concurso de natación y bailar, pero no puede participar en un concurso de canto. Ajá, sí, sí. Teacher, ahí le falta can't sing. Ah, excellent. Very good, Ceci. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, lo hice para ver si estaban pendientes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Very good, you guys. Ahora, les voy a mostrar otra structure. Miren que se salvaron por el tiempo porque no van a practicar. <laughs> Pero vamos a ver esta otra structure. Guiding a structure for questions with can. Ahora bien, también podemos formular preguntas con el auxiliary, right? Así como con el do or does, también podemos hacerlo con el can. Can plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Conocida también es la estructura como el yes or no questions. Ok, with can. También pueden titularlo así si ustedes desean. Yes or no questions with can.
All right, everybody, we're going to finish uh, the class. So let's voy a mostrar unos guiding examples and we're going to finish the class. Y no quiero pasar sin recordarles, please, eh, continúen trabajando en la platform. Ya solo tienen esta semana, right? Mañana terminamos toda la sección 5 y primeramente Dios podemos iniciar con el exam, final exam, y así terminarle el día jueves. Carla, do you have a question? No. <laughs> sí. Ah, yes. Yo eh, recuerdo que la última semana, eh, la vez anterior del curso anterior, nos enviaron la, como la solicitud para que nosotros llenáramos y pudiéramos aplicar al siguiente curso. No sé si esta vez aún no, no se ha hecho eso. Ah, Carlita, I don't know. De eso sí, no sé. Imagino yo que los técnicos o los de mercado llevan el control de eso, pero puedo... Preguntarle, Carlos. All right. Puedo averiguarle mañana. Gracias, teacher. All right. All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. God bless yeah. you, teacher. Bye. 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 You too, everybody. Good night. Bye, Good night. teacher. Good night.